Hey, y'all. I want to show you all how to make uh, chicken salad today. Chicken? What? Are you serious? Yeah, chicken salad with lettuce, tomatoes, and... Nah, get real. We'll go cook steak and potatoes. That's what I'm talking about. Well, we could get these. Sorry, I was talking. All right, and rolling. Gorgeous. <laughs> All right, y'all, we're going to cut these taters up. I love these little red potatoes. Oh, boy. We're going to just cube them up a little bit. Not too much, but a little. We're going to put some butter on them. Come here. Don't be running away from me. Put a little butter on them, a little salt and pepper. Well, this potatoes we used to cook all the time because we, we raised our own all the time. And uh, Grandpa and them would raise them. They called them new potatoes. And, uh, oh, they were just so good. I mean, if you can't get these little red ones, use whatever you want. It don't make no difference. Ain't that pretty? Let's get these to cooking, y'all. I'm going to squirt a little oil on here. Slick things up. Get them taters and put them on. We're going to do something a little different in a little bit, but y'all watch this. Oh, yeah. Just want to get them cooking some. Hi, right, y'all. We're going to put a little bit of SPG on here. And actually, we're going to get a dome for this one. We're going to be cooking under that dome a little while. Come on over here. We're going to fix this steak up. Y'all, we're going to make this one look fancy. I know. Just cut it just like this. Now, what this does as you're cooking this, it opens up, lets it season get in there. And it makes a good crispy crust on it like a big steak like this you can cook for two people and uh i'm gonna share it not all of it i'm gonna share some of it all right y'all we gotta cut this this way from miss janet likes this that fat cap i like to slice it i i prefer cooking like this i prefer the ribeye uh don't have the bone and stuff and it just makes it taste so good all right y'all I'm going to go ahead and score this other side while I'm here. Okay, y'all. It's kind of like playing with your food, you know. Your mama always said don't play with your food, but hey, mama ain't here today. We do what we want. I always play with my food. That pretty? Now, what, ha what happens, you do it like this, and like I said, it opens up a little bit. It lets all that good seasoning. You know when you pick your steak up off the grill and you got the seasoning still stuck on there? Well, this time it's going to be stuck on here. That's where you want it. You don't need that season on your grill unless you're going to lick it later. All right, y'all, we're fixing to cook this steak right now. We're going to squirt a little oil right here. Now, this steak is a big steak, so it's going to take 10, 12, 15 minutes to cook. So what we're going to do, you might have to flip this thing 10 times. Who knows? But watch this, y'all. We're fixing to make it sizzle. Ooh! Let me check that temp on here. Right on it. You don't want it too hot because this is going to take a little while. All right, y'all. Let's tend to these taters a little bit. See what's going on. How y'all doing? How y'all doing over there? Let's pour a little water on these. Might mix them up a little bit. Turn them around a little bit to the other side. Boy, they smelling good, ain't they? Oh, yeah. Come on. Ain't that pretty? We're going to put a little water on here. Y'all steam them up. Put the bone back on. Ooh. We're going to be back in a little bit. As soon as we get this thing seared up, we're going to flip it. We're smashing this garlic, garlic cup. And I'm going to show y'all it's going to be good this way. I like to kind of, I like big chunks of garlic. We're going to smash it and dice it a little bit. Wait right there. I'll be right back. All right. Check on these taters a little bit. Oh yeah, this coming along good. 
Turn them over to the other side. Oh, beautiful. We're gonna squirt a little oil on here. A little bit, of, little bit to keep it wet. Now we're gonna take all this good stuff right here, this garlic, put it on here. Yo, this is gonna be good. All this. We'll get a little butter and throw on here. And just let it melt down in there. Come on. All right, y'all. Now we gotta get over here and get this steak finishing up. We're gonna put it on the sides here. Just hold it here in a few minutes. You want that nice and good and crispy. You know how you get in the restaurant and it's, uh, the fat part's real salty and good? That's what we're doing right here. We're not gonna cook it too long on one side. We got one more side we gotta do right here. Oh, we look at this. All the potatoes and all the stuff right here. All right. Look at that. You just want to. All right, y'all. Y'all see all this goodness? Oh, my goodness. You want your steak and all this stuff, y'all. Oh, all right, y'all. Y'all watch this and you don't get this at a restaurant. We're going to put this over here to the side. Turn that over and let it wait right there for me. Get some of that Texas toast. Clean your griddle with it. Oh, yeah. Woo! Got that old black seasoning on it. We're going to let that get good and crispy. We're going to pull our steak off of here right now. Always, y'all hear them talk about it all the time. Always let that steak sit out there and rest a little bit. Because it's tired. Right, y'all, we're going to go ahead and pick up these tacters. No, we ain't going to leave none of that juice done. We're going to pick it all up. Mm-mm. Oh, can y'all smell that? Mmm, smells good. Okay, we're gonna turn this bread to the another size. Don't take long to make toast on the Blackstone. Once you make your toast on the Blackstone like this, you, you'll throw your toast away. You won't want it no other way. All right, y'all, we've let this steak rest a few minutes. Now it's time to slice it up and eat it. Oh, man, I think it's gonna be perfect. What do y'all think, the potatoes, the steak, the toast, all of it, the butter, it's all blended in together with the rosemary. It's going to be good. All right, y'all, this is my favorite part right here. Oh, my goodness, look at that. That's pretty or what? Oh, wee. Now. Oh, my goodness. Steak and potato and toast for two. Can't beat this. Mmm. Mm. You can buy two steaks if you want, but I tell you what. You buy one big thick one and you can cook it like this and oh man, it is great. Mm. Just like a steakhouse at home, we got the rosemary, the butter, the potatoes, everything is just like a real steakhouse, but it's at home. You don't have to go off and eat it. Look at that. That's beautiful. Mm. 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 Tonight you're cooking with the 